is Jessica and today I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Lip Gloss Palette. This is $11.99 at drugstores. I know it's sold on Ulta's website, but I also, I found it at a store near me called Meyer. Um, so if you have one near you, you might find it there in an end cap. It's kind of popping up in a lot of places, so definitely keep your eyes peeled. But if you can't find it in a store near you, definitely look online. I can place some links below for a few different places I know that sell it online. But let's go ahead and get into the review and the swatches of this palette. So let's get into the lip swatches of these on my lips and then I'll get into kind of my full review of whether I think it's worth buying or not. It's beautiful. I mean, it's simple, it's black, it's really sleek. Um, in the drugstore, no one has come out with a palette like this that I know of, at least not in my lifetime of wearing makeup. Um, and the range of colors is really good. I'll show you here in these swatches that, I mean, it really does go from a very light color to a very nice deep color. No, it doesn't go to like a black, but most people don't wear that, so I don't think it's going to be too missed but I think they cover a lot of different shades and tones in this palette that, um, I mean, you can't really miss when it comes to shades. But let's talk about pigmentation. As you could see, a lot of them have a lot of pigmentation, but if you have pigmented lips like I do, like the lightest two shades really don't show up. These two honestly just look like gloss on my lips. But the first one that does show up is this one, and I'm wearing on my lips because I wanted you to see kind of what it looks like. It really does have that tone. And so everything from here down, for me, works really well. You do have to, there's a little brush that comes with it. I have had to dig to get it out and get it on my lips. I did my close-ups of this palette before I did my lip swatches. And here's something I realized that's interesting. You can see pan on almost all of these after one use. And when I say one use, I mean I took my little lip brush that came with it, I scratched at it to get it on my lips to show color so you guys could see the color of the lip gloss. And one, two, three, four, five of them completely show pan. So that sounds like Chopin, like the classical composer. Um, it makes me really sad because that means that really the pans of these are really, really shallow. So you're not gonna get a ton of product. So that is one downside. The peach one surprised me right here, which is the fifth one in, um, because I don't usually love peach lipsticks on me or lip glosses for that matter, but I really liked this one. The one that I was the most disappointed in was the darkest shade. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I like berry shades or even that like mulberry deeper, but this one, it was very patchy. It wasn't the way, you know, if you're wearing a darker, more vampy shade like that, you want it to look crisp because I had to like emphasize that because if it doesn't look crisp, it doesn't end up having the right effect. It ends up looking muddy. It looks kind of messy and like you don't really know what you're doing and it just looks sloppy. So for me, this one looked very sloppy in my opinion. So that was one of the shades I was disappointed in, but I was impressed by quite a few of them. They packed more of a color punch than I would have guessed, especially, again, on pigmented lips. Is this worth buying? I think it's only worth buying. I mean, it's $11.99, $12, which is higher for drugstore, but it's not completely crazy because there are some drugstore products that are like $15, which that is crazy. But it's a little pricier for drugstore. I think the only way this would be worth it is if you maybe don't have a big collection and you're wanting to expand your color selection in your collection. That was a lot of shun there. 
Other than that, if you, you know, if you're like me and you have a decent amount of things to choose between, I don't think this is a must have, you guys. I know it looks really trendy and cute. And, you know, to be honest, I bought it because I saw a picture of it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And it's different and it's cute. So I bought it. And of course, I can review it for you guys. But if the only reason you're buying it is because it's cute or it's new or it's trendy, don't. Because it's nice, but it's not the best thing out there, not even close. And, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's a lot better of products out there that you could buy. I can link, if you're curious about what I'm talking about, my drugstore review playlist below so you can see other drugstore lip products that I love even more than this. Um, Cause I could go on for a day about the different drugstore lip products that I love. So I will link that below. Um, one, I mean, it's in front of me cause I just filmed the haul but I just did a new at the drugstore haul and these are brand new as well. These are from Revlon, they're their Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors and I really, really like them. I have a deeper berry shade in Addiction and then I also have a more peachy pink shade in Devotion. And these are beautiful, they dry to an almost matte finish, I would say satin, but they are comfortable and they stay all day and they can give you that crisp line you want because it dries where it is. Whereas these, they're more like glosses, so the deeper shades they never really dry, they just kind of run. But overall, I think it's an okay product. Hopefully my review made sense to you. I know that when I feel wishy-washy about a product, I feel bad because I feel like my review is not clear because I don't feel like, oh, it's terrible or, oh, it's amazing. I'm just right in between with this, it's okay. So hopefully, like I said, it made sense. And if you enjoy these videos and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and join our little family here. I upload different drugstore reviews every single week and hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.